Everything's okay? I want to sell a million copies or more. I want a hit song. You know what a hit song is? I want it. Where is it? I need it. I got to accomplish something. Bingo is a sextagenarian rock poet from Flushing, New York. He exclaims his lunatic rhymes in various New York City clubs wherever they'll let him on stage. He's often backed by local rockers who enjoy working with him. He's unpredictable, he's funny, and he's real. <sighs> a while back, I was watching a documentary on outsider musicians and discovered the uncanny old man that called himself Bingo Gazingo. Bingo was a performer in New York that performed at the Bowery Poetry Club. The documentary showed Bingo reading off his classic poem from sheets of paper with the words written in big Margaret letters. These papers he'd often bring to his performances and read off to the audience. A night with Bingo Gazingo was a strange experience to behold. To correct myself earlier, Bingo didn't exactly read his poems like one would expect from a poetry reading. Bingo sort of half sung, half read his work like this. Oh, women, then, you are the one. I'll shoot you with my gun. Oh, women, rock your balls against the walls and fuck me like busy smalls. Oh, women, then, when you were three, you escaped from the penitentiary. When you was nine, you committed the perfect crime. When you was fourteen, you was on morphine. Oh, women, you're the real shit. I'll fuck you in your clit. Oh, women, read all about it in the paper. Rap a rape a caper. Oh, women, this is my kiss. Kiss my piss. Oh, women, then. You glory, glory, hallelujah! You glory, glory, hallelujah! I'm so happy that I know you. I'm so happy that I blew you. Yeah, you ghost crushing off. At a first glance, you might think that a homeless person perhaps got past security and walked up on stage. Despite the many onlookers that questioned his sanity, Bingo Gazingo was an artist genuinely expressing himself through his words. He also didn't like being called a poet. Little information is offered about his background other than an article, The Ballads of Bingo Gazingo, written in the New York Times. According to the article, he was originally named Murray Walks. He lived in Queens as a child and became a logger for Broadcast Music Incorporated when he was a young man. Murray would write songs during this time, but he never gained any attention from the public despite his efforts. Later in life, he worked as a postal worker for many decades, and decided to pursue a music career when he was much older. After his retirement in postal work, Bingo would go to open mics and recite his songs to audiences. He originally named himself the Great Samurai Guitar Player, but that name didn't stick for obvious reasons. He eventually renamed himself Bingo Gazingo after the name came to him in a vision. Despite the level of inaccessibility his music possessed, Bingo wanted wider popularity and success just like any other artist did. Maybe you're not appealing to the masses. Maybe the your masses. sound. I am the masses. Who do you think I am? I'm the masses. Oh. Where the hell's the phone call? That's gonna make me uh, rich or something like that always grab the opportunity to weasel his way into more exposure. Bingo would often go up to rock bands before shows and ask if he could perform as a warm-up or during intermission. He would also somehow find his way into a mention in a Rolling Stone article, a morning talk show, and an MTV pilot. Many of Bingo's more well-known songs were recorded on his self-titled album in 1997. The lyrics were Bingo's original poems and were backed by some instrumentals. The LP contained 16 tracks, including some of his most popular tunes. Psycho. His hobby was taxidermy. Wormy, squirmy, axidermy. Psycho! Psycho! He never entered into matrimony. A pure Jurassic Park. 
I was a little boy in Jurassic Park. I used to go on roller coaster rides on dinosaurs in Dinosaur Land. I was grand up the coast of Costa Rica in Dinosaur Land. 300 million years ago, I remember it well. It was swell. This is the Anasoya. Everything is okay at the OK Corral. It's high noon. It's the last chance to move. And a cowboy movie in my head. And a dealing from the bottom of the deck. And the two jokers for life and death. But I've got a wrong watch up my sleeve. And a queen of hearts in my heart. And everything's okay at the OK Corral. My personal favorite track from Bingo Gazingo would have to be the three I already mentioned, along with J-Lo. The song shows the organized madness and oddball character that made him stand out as an artist. To get a good taste of Bingo's material, I suggest to listen to some of the recordings or any remaining live performances of him left on YouTube. At first listen, it might sound like a crazy old man on acid, but once giving it some time, his creative and clever performance art shines through. I find there's a lot of passion in his spoken word, if spoken word is even the proper description for his work. Whether you like it or not, Bingo's lines were packed with emotion and expression that exemplified the stories he was telling in his lyrics. In regards to his poems, I find Bingo to be one of the most quotable musicians around. If you date through his stuff long enough, you're bound to have some of his recited lines get stuck in your head. But I did get a call from an old lady asking, Is this the chicken nugget? Is a toilet bowl. All you need is a toilet paper roll. in the night. Who calls in the night? Psycho. I love you so fucking much. I can't shit. I can't get it in. And I can't get it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. I can't go, go, go. I shit, shit, shit. But I can't shit, shit, shit. What's the use? Will you give me your prune juice? I'm gonna jump in chicken soup and drown. Cause your eyes just off the ground. Hello. You didn't love me any. You left me high and dry and far behind. I'm just another Johnny. With a Jenny on my mind. Being that he has a solidified legacy of an outsider musician, it wouldn't surprise me if some of his lines became catchphrases in the community circle that knew about him. Personally, I'm kind of surprised that this guy hasn't become a meme of some sort, considering how the internet latches onto weird personalities such as his. Another thing I find really impressive about Bingo Gazingo is that he didn't start a music career for himself until a ridiculously old age. I was born in the Bronx 5,000 years ago. While most musicians will start hitting the scene around their 20s, this guy didn't get into the game until his 70s and continued to perform until his 80s until his death in 2010. Of all the years of him writing songs and failing to get attention, I think that it was good that he got to live his dream eventually. Though bingo songs were never played on the radio or exposed to a larger public, his music still captivates those who are brave enough, or perhaps just crazy enough, to try his cleverly bizarre poetry. It's a true story. I got a wrong number from uh, from uh, this woman who called maybe up three or four times. I guess she was looking for a kosher chicken market. That's the point of the song, is it? The point is, is this the chicken market? Are these the people? Is this the chicken market? Does it make sense? Does the world make sense? That's what it means. 